Michael Lee here, your realtor of the Palm Beaches. Welcome to my channel where it's my job to help you guys find those hidden gems in Palm Beach County, whether that's a $5 million home on the ocean or a beautiful town home in the middle of the city. Hope you guys please consider subscribing to the channel where you guys can stay updated on new property tours, neighborhood tours, as well as real estate information. So some of you guys may be aware of the recent changes that have happened in the real estate industry starting on August 17th. Now, realtors are now obligated to have potential home buyers sign what's called a written buyer agreement. Now, I'm going to talk to you guys about three specific things. What is it? What does it do? And how does it benefit you? So in very, very simple terms, a written buyer agreement is an agreement between yourself, the home buyer, and your real estate professional, whether that be a real estate agent, realtor, someone who's paid to represent you in a purchase of a home. Now they outline specifically what those services will be and how that agent will be paid in order for them to provide those services for you. Now, what does it do? It breaks down in detail what those services are. So that could be from touring a certain number of homes. That could be touring a certain number of homes in an area. That could be how they're going to be compensated, whether it be an hourly rate, a percentage of the commission, or just a simple flat fee. Now, you can have this particular agreement with a number of different agents in a particular city, county, wherever you're choosing to look for homes. Say you have an expert in one city, but you're also looking in another city as well. You may want to have two different agreements with two different agents since they may all know that area a little bit better than one or the other. Now, would I advise that? It depends on the situation, every situation is different. Now, how does this buyer agreement benefit you? Now, it benefits you in outlining the specific details of the agreement that you've written with that agent. It eliminates all confusion when it comes to understanding the services that this agent has going to do for you and the compensation that they're going to receive from those services. Now, back in the days, there had been a little bit of confusion by showing a number of properties for a particular agent, but then, hey, the buyer finds another property with another agent and goes with that house because they love that property. And that agent that has spent a number of hours or days, weeks, what have you, showing you different properties has been left with zero compensation for their time. That is going to eliminate that particular scenario with the written buyer agreement. You have been, you're entering into an agreement and you allow them to say, hey, here's what I'm asking of you. Here's what I expect in return. And in return, I'm going to pay you X amount for that service or services. Now, is this negotiable? Absolutely. You can negotiate a number of different things in this agreement, whether it be, hey, I only want to see this particular home for this particular day, or hey, I would like to see a number of homes in this specific neighborhood, or hey, I would like to just play you a flat fee for a certain amount of time. Maybe that'd be three months, one month, six months, however long you decide that you would like to be in the market shopping for a particular property. Now, are you on the hook when it comes to paying your agent that compensation for providing those services? Not necessarily. Now, Back in the days, the seller would be 100% responsible for paying your broker's fee for that real estate agent for providing those services for you. Now say this is different in the new ruling that happened August 17th with the litigation settlement by NAR. What happens now is say, for example, you have a seller that you found a house and you absolutely love, but they are only willing to pay a 2% commission to your agent. Now, you have made an agreement in your written buyer agreement that you would pay your agent 3%. You would then be responsible for paying the difference. This 2% would come from the seller or that seller's agent, and that remaining 1% will have to come from you to complete the 3% commission. Now, that could be a little bit of a sticky situation if an agreement was not in place. That is one of the reasons why it would benefit you, so you already know firsthand going in, hey, I may be on the hook to pay a certain amount of percentage just in case the seller doesn't want to pay my agent's full compensation percentage that we have agreed on. Now, can you change or exit an agreement? Absolutely. 
as long as you and the agent mutually agree to those changes or dissolving of the agreement, it's absolutely okay to cancel or change a written buyer agreement. Now, I hope you guys have found this information helpful. And if you guys are interested, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.